What's up guys, your boy Joe Virginia and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be reacting to the top 10 WTF Euro songs. So we're going to, and this is from Watch Mojo. So if you guys want to go see the, um, the actual list for yourself, um, it's on there. I'll post the link on my bio. But guys, uh, we're still trying to get to the magical number. All right. 10k is the sub uh, subscriber is our goal and we're trying to hit that uh, as soon as possible so if you guys would like to hit me with the hbo special you know hit a brother up you know help a brother out actually not hit a brother up help a brother out that's the hbo special you know? if you want to hit me up you know my link and my socials and everything is up there so if you guys have any suggestion for music and everything like that but with all that said guys um we're gonna get straight in to this oh yeah it is one of the weirdest shows on earth <laughs> And today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 WTF Eurovision songs. Okay, see, there you go. This is a weirdest uh, song contest, actually. It's song contest, you know, but you're forgiven. Looking for Watch Mojo videos with a British twist? Pack your bags and take a trip to Watch Mojo UK. For even more bloody brilliant top 10 list and entertaining content. <laughs> for this list, we've gathered some of the wackiest tracks and most unexpected performances in Eurovision history. With a crazy combo of dreadful singing, silly costumes, and bizarre stunts, these bands and musicians make Eurovision the strange but oddly addictive showpiece we know and love today. That's crazy. That is crazy. Spain. Number 10, Vaya El Chiqui Chiqui, Rodolfo Chiqui La Cuatra from Spain. Ooh. Translating to Dance the Chiqui Chiqui, this 2008 effort came from a Spanish comic character wearing an Elvis wig and credited with inventing the vibrator guitar. As Rodolfo asks us to dance doggy style, backing dancers pretend to blunder their way through the colourful routine. And although the performance is apparently packed with political references and gags, it's the song score that'll mostly make you laugh. It amassed an astonishing 55 points, meaning it finished comfortably mid-table, coming 16th out of 25 entries. That's actually impressive, you know? I mean, I would take that, you know? That was a good... It's a good entry pull, you know, that's actually really good. Chicky Chicky. Number nine, Cry Baby, Gemini from the United Kingdom. The UK has had a dismal Eurovision record in recent years, but this performance by Liverpool pop duo Gemini marked a new low. <laughs> a new low. From the very first note, the singing is so flat, it feels like the blooper reel shown during X Factor auditions. Afterwards, the pair claimed that technical faults meant they couldn't hear their own vocals. If only we could say the same. Ouch, oh, damn, this guy is harsh. He is harsh with this. <laughs> it is bad though, it is bad. Cry Baby was the first ever English language song to receive null points, though some critics claimed Gemini were lucky to get even that. This year they did too. This year they did too. Number 8, Eurovision, Telex from Belgium. Synth pop group Telex are best known for their worldwide hit single, Moscow Disco. Unfortunately, this Eurovision entry won them far few applauds. The simple melodies and banal lyrics make you wonder if the song was simply thrown together the previous evening. On the plus side, the scarf twirling choreography is understated genius. I 
don't know, man. I don't know. This is... <laughs> This is, this is some weird songs, man. After the show, the band admitted that they had wanted to finish last, but their hopes were cruelly dashed by Portugal, who awarded them 10 points. Dang! They finished 17th out of 19th. Oh, so they were going for dead last. Number 7, Runaway, Sunstroke Project and Oli Tira from Moldova. When this next record starts up, you might think it's just like any other cheesy Eurovision entry. Then the sax player, Sergei Stepanov, steps forward to steal the show completely with an energetic solo. While Moldova finished 22nd in the 2010 competition, Stepanov's performance was so popular it spawned the epic sax guy meme, drawing approval from even Gandalf the Grey. I have... it's crazy. I didn't even know it came from this, right? I did a TikTok today and I used this soundtrack on one of my videos. Oh my God, that is a good, that's good, that's class. Stepanov eventually returned to the Eurovision stage in 2017, sporting shades and a tux for a brand new track. What a hey. guy. Number 6, Chinggis Khan, Chinggis Khan from West Germany. The outward flamboyance of this German pop group's performance is matched only by the garishness of their absurdly inaccurate historical costumes. As the Mongol leader canters about the stage seducing everyone by spinning everywhere, his companions heartily sing about him fathering seven children in a single night, with lots of oohs and ahs thrown in for good measure. Bizarrely, the song has enjoyed success, registering over 100,000 digital downloads in Japan in 2014, having been released in 2006. Oh snap, that's good then, if that's the case, shoot! That's some good stuff right there then. Good job. Oh my god. Number 5, Hard Rock Hallelujah, Lordi from Finland. Weird doesn't always mean bad in Eurovision, as our next entry demonstrates. The only hard rock band ever to win the competition, Lordi lauded the stage in 2006, belting out Christian messages while dressing costumes that are part Klingon, part Predator. Whoa. And as this song reaches its epic finale, the frontman unveils his leathery bat wings, just because he can. Three years later, 80,000 people set a karaoke Guinness World Record when they gathered to sing the song in Helsinki. That's how popular it was, and is. Yo, I gotta, I gotta find this song. I gotta find their performance. I gotta see this. That's crazy. That is crazy. I... I don't even think about that, but okay. Number four, party for everybody, Boronovsky Babushki from Russia. If you've been waiting for a performance based on baking, then we bring good news. This bizarre yet endearing entry from six Russian grannies begins with two of them pushing a tray of cookies into a kiln. Then while the biscuits bake, the women shuffle around the stage and sing about lighting ovens and kneading dough. The grannies came second in the 2012 competition wow. and newfound fame to help raise funds for a church reconstruction back home. Wow, that's good. I mean, that's a good, that's a good cause. You know, if you go to... I mean, you do that for that. I will. I support. I would have voted for them easily. Cause you want to know why? Grandma's cookies, man. Grandma's cookies. Bake sales don't get any bigger or better than this. Did it all go right? Number three: Orlando Deuce Pont, Dustin the Turkey from Ireland. 
hats off to the Irish for slipping a not so subliminal message into this track's title, but it wasn't enough for them to progress past even the semi final stage. Aww, oh, dang. Performed by a puppet turkey who first appeared on children's television alongside Zig and Zag, there's strangely no real attempt to conceal the puppeteer, which only adds to the general confusion. Okay, so like that, I was seeing the legs, I was like, yo, that's not good then. You know, he should have just hide the legs, man. Like, that would have been a better performance, at least a little bit, a little better, you know. You should have hide that legs, man. Hide the legs, it shouldn't be that hard. At least the lyrics are just as ridiculous as the rest of the performance, mocking the competition and throwing in a reference to Terry Wogan's wig. Oh, wow. Damn, he calling out. He want all the smoke, all the smoke, all the smoke. Number two, another Ukraine. Tumbai, Verka Sadushka from Ukraine. It may look like our next performers have wrapped themselves in tinfoil, but they're actually yeah, wearing a costume designed by Dolce & Gabbana. The lyrics to this song are part Ukrainian, part German, but all gibberish, as the front man assures us that dancing is good, and repeats over and over the phrase 7712. Conservative viewers in Ukraine were apparently outraged to have a drag act representing them, but Sedushka had the final word, finishing as runner-up on the night. I mean, why would you have an issue with that? I mean, oh, look at that, runner-up. I swallow your, swallow your word then, makes you choke on your word, because they finished runner-up. Guess what? Too bad for you. Just saying. Maybe sometimes. Keep your thoughts to yourself. Number one, we are the winners, LT United from Lithuania. Okay. Are the winners. We are, we are. Someone may need to explain the rules to this Lithuanian pop group because they made the mistake of proclaiming themselves victors before the voting had even started. We are, we are. We are the winners of Eurovision. Suited, booted, and with stick on smiles, the highlight of their performance is undoubtedly Arnold Dislokoyosh giving this amazing impression have an uncle dancing at a wedding. The fact that LT United finished sixth in the competition is testament to just how hilariously unpredictable Eurovision can be. Still, like everything else on today's list, the song sure is catchy. Would have made them one. I honestly would have made them one. I mean, I like it. We are the winner. We are, we are. Are the winners of Eurovision votes? Do you agree with our picks? I think okay. I think they were playing too much into the audience's hands and stuff like that. That's probably why it failed and it dropped. But all in all, I like that. Uh, there's quite a lot of different interesting uh, song that catch my. I kind of want to go back and see quite a few of them. You know, um, Lithuanian was. Was it Lithuania or Ukraine? I think it was Ukraine also. But, like, I want to check it out, too. That's kind of interesting, you know? <laughs> I like it. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Because go to 10K, man. Just smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and share it to whoever you are show them how awesome we are together you know if you love eurovision you want to subscribe to the channel because we're going to try to cover as much as we can on it too all right see you guys later peace out